Now to an NBC News investigation in collaboration with the nonprofit journalism organization known as Outlaw Ocean Project. It's into the state of our seafood, a series of new reports raising questions about the true costs of the farm shrimp industry. NBC senior consumer investigative correspondent Vicki Wynn reports. Some people, if they want to go home right now, if we are not allowed, then they will sometimes pay the same. And now we do fencing with them something so that no one can go out. You're listening to an audio recording from inside an Indian shrimp processing plant that supplies U.S. grocers like Walmart, Aldi, and ShopRite. An employee apparently discussing how migrant workers are prevented from leaving without permission. Our supervisor, contractor, will insist that okay, you stay here for one month. Next month, we will send it back. But after one month, they will stay. They even forget that they want to go home. This recording and a trove of other videos, company emails and documents are the subject of a new federal whistleblower complaint reviewed by NBC News into food safety and labor concerns at a prominent shrimp importer. On average, Americans eat a whopping six pounds of shrimp a year. About 90 percent of that shrimp comes from overseas and India is our biggest supplier. The Indian shrimp industry has grown so significantly in the past decade and yet no one was really looking at what was going on behind the scenes. Ali Brudney co-wrote a new report from the nonprofit Corporate Accountability Lab, alleging labor violations are widespread across India's farmed shrimp industry and that sustainability certifications don't mean much. We found that companies are exploiting a pretty vulnerable migrant population and that these workers are engaged in really hazardous work all the time. All of the basic labor laws that you expect are in existence and yet there's just very little oversight. And when it comes to the shrimp you eat, experts say antibiotic use is not uncommon in Indian shrimp farming. The drugs are sometimes used to fight disease, but that can lead to antibiotic resistant infections. And the practice is largely banned by the FDA. Only 1% of America's shrimp imports were inspected last year, and most of the shipments that were turned away because of antibiotics were from India. Compare that to Europe, where they inspect 50% of Indian shrimp imports. You would think this is a safe product. I should be eating this, and it's not the case at all. Josh Farinella says he saw labor and food safety abuses firsthand. The perfunctory he got a high paying job with a company called Choice Canning last fall as general manager of one of their shrimp processing plants in India. For Farinella, who had spent the last eight years in the seafood industry, it should have been a dream job. But after just a few months, he filed a whistleblower complaint to U.S. regulators. You walked away from making $300,000 a year. Why? Because this, this story needs to to be told. Farinella says his records are proof that the company was underpaying some of its workers using unregulated off-site peeling sheds to keep up with demand and selling shrimp tainted with antibiotics banned by the FDA. Last month, federal lawmakers requested evidence in response to Farinella's complaint. So there's a nice factory that is inspected and that regulators see. But the reality you're saying is there are these off-site hidden sheds. What are the conditions at these sheds? They're open air sheds the the workers that are in there don't have any of the standard protective equipment that a, a production worker in a real factory would be wearing these workers are in their street clothes in one text message farinella asks an executive what to do about a batch of shrimp for a u.s supermarket that allegedly tested positive for antibiotics the executive responds ship it i asked a, a senior member of management well, why are we getting antibiotic shrimp if we're only purchasing these products from certified farms and the reply was we don't use any of those farms we only buy from unregistered farms do you think these companies are taking advantage of the fact that regulators in the u.s aren't testing as much as europe unquestionably Farinella's records also appear to show workers resting in overcrowded rooms, some working with little time off. People are sleeping on floors. Mattresses are dirty, they're torn, bed bugs were an issue. From the food safety issues to the labor conditions, you believe management at the highest levels of choice canning is well aware of what's happening? Yes. Choice Canning declined our request for an on-camera interview, but categorically denied wrongdoing, saying in part that it has never shipped antibiotic positive shrimp to U.S. customers. It has maintained a spotless record with regulators that it would never underpay its employees who are free to come and go as they please, and they are treated with dignity and respect 
and that Farinella lacks credibility because of his criminal record. Farinella had a series of DUI and felony theft convictions in his 20s and 30s, including for burglary, writing bad checks, and identity theft, but said he turned his life around a decade ago and is taking significant risk by speaking out now. I'm unemployed with a wife, two kids, two dogs, and plenty of bills. Even if I'm lucky enough to not be blackballed from the seafood industry, I'm, I'm still looking at a annual paycheck that's far less than half of what I was making. What is it that you hope will happen as a result of your complaint? Change, both for the conditions that people have to work in overseas and awareness for the consumer to know that what they're eating is safe. Rudney says when it comes to shrimp farmed overseas, ultimately, that's up to U.S. grocers. They all have these codes of conduct that talk about not having forced labor, ensuring payment of minimum wage, abiding by labor laws. Then they need to make sure that those are actually being followed. We reached out to the U.S. supermarkets that Choice Canning sells to. Walmart and Aldi told us they are investigating Farinella's claims and they expect their suppliers to adhere to FDA standards and to treat workers fairly. Wakefern Food Corporation, they own ShopRite. They referred us to Choice Canning's response. Now, Farinella's lawyer says they have sent all relevant evidence to the ranking Democrats on the House Natural Resources Committee who requested them. So that investigation is underway, Tom. So, Vicki, what can consumers do, right? People love to order shrimp at restaurants, buy it in the grocery store. What should they look out for to make sure they're not buying from companies that don't uphold human rights or at least the safety standards when it comes to seafood? It is a little tricky, Tom, because it's difficult. The U.S. doesn't make it simple with grocery stores with transparency around where these products come from beyond the country of origin. So you can look for that. But experts say, in general, the shorter the supply chain, the better the food is for you. So try to buy from your local fishmonger, uh, locally farmed or locally caught seafood, that really helps you to have a little bit more, more control and transparency about the products you're eating. All right, Vicki went for us. Vicki, thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.